Hello, I am your running friend Harmeet. I have been running long distance for quite some time now and I think now the time has come that I must share my experiences and learnings with all of you. Today's topic is warm up and cooling down. I have seen many new fresh runners and some old ones who do not take warm up and cooling down very seriously. Please remember that if you want to run long distance running for a longer period of time, you will have to build up warm up and cooling down in your running schedule. Any long run can be divided into three parts. First, warm up. Second, the actual run. Third, the cooling down. Whether you're running one kilometer, five kilometers, 10 kilometers or even half marathon, you should always warm up at least for 20 minutes. Now that winters are setting in, it's all the more important that your warm up should be there for at least 30 minutes. Runners ask me, Harmeet, why do you say warm up is important? Um, let me answer that question in a manner that it makes it easy for all of us to understand. Running is a stressful activity. Whether you're running a short distance or a long distance, you're going to put your body, its joints, its entire circulatory system into a bit of stress. Warm up is a way of telling your body that it is going to go under stress. So the body starts preparing itself when you start doing your warm up. Hence, the warm up is very important and an essential part of your running regime. We divide our warm up regime into two parts the lower body and the upper body. First, we focus on the lower body. When you start your warm up, always ensure that you walk at your normal pace in the first starting two minutes. After completing the normal walk, you can actually start stretching your legs a bit, taking longer steps and walk for next two minutes with stretched legs. Then in the last one minute, build up a slightly higher pace so that you can actually have a slightly elevated heartbeat. Now that your legs are moving, the blood is flowing, it is time to focus on the three main joints of your legs. Number one, the ankle. Number two, the knees. And the third one, your hip joint. Now out of these two, ankle and hips, you can actually go to YouTube and find a lot of rotational exercises that help you to build up the rotational capabilities of these two joints. And also you can similarly find exercises for your knees, which helps it to build flex capabilities as well. You must have seen that a lot of runners are only focusing on the lower body warm up. No, that's not correct. Warming up your upper body is as important as warming up your, up your lower body. And the reason for that is that when you're running, your hands are in a to and fro motion. This helps you to actually build up balance when you're running. Running is not about only two legs. It is about your two arms as well. Therefore, building up flexibility in shoulders, spine, which is forward and back and sideways is very important. You can again get a lot of exercises on YouTube that can help you to warm up your shoulders, your arms properly, and as well as build up the flexibility index of your spine. 25 minutes of warm up is already done where you have done the basic stretching, the gait walking, plus the joint stretching and the long muscle stretching. Now it is time to spend last five minutes in just running 50 meters at a slightly higher pace just to find out if there are any niggles or pain in the joint. Always remember that these last five minutes are for you to concentrate and listen to your body and just identify if you have any kind of injury, niggle or a pain. If it exists, well, you may want to rethink your run. However, if you still want to proceed, spend two to five minutes more on doing a specific stretching for that particular part of the body where you are still having the niggle. I'm hopeful that you all like this video and got some great insights 
into the first part of my video which is warm up thank you very much for watching this winters are setting in let's go for a long run